Hey guys, it's Sean from Minias Play Games. I bring you the Trunks deck profile requested by Rich on the YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for the likes and subscribe for that video. It's very fun to record. Uh, very fun deck we're playing as well. Um, let's get into the profile. So I'm playing 4 Bean. Easily one of the best blue cards. Uh, one cost, untap 2 your mana in 5k. It just stops a lot of decks in their track, like Go Tanks and just anything that pushes the 15k. It just stops them completely. I'm playing 4 Coercion. Um, even though I'm playing aggro, I like having the 4 negate, it just, I, I like the safety net it, it provides for you. Just being able to negate anything big stops your opponent dead in their track, especially when they don't expect it when you're playing aggro. We're playing 4 Kaba. Um, especially since Trunks doesn't self-awaken, this card's really good about peeling the life back and just being able to hit double strike as well. It uh, puts a lot of pressure on your opponent and it helps you awaken at the same time. Seeing this early game is very crucial just because again, like you need to be awakened as soon as possible. Uh, it just makes the game that much faster and that much funner. Um, Playing three of the one drop chomper, uh, this pretty much just searches the uh, feathering destructions. It can search itself. Itself is also a good combo piece, being a 5k combo. Um, it's a one drop, so you don't get to draw off it, um, but it's still good to just throw out deck thin. Um, it's just a good engine. Um, playing four of the 10 pump pickles. This card's just too good to not play, especially comboing with trunks. This card, uh, like you get to draw off comboing with it, and you get to draw off itself when flipped. If you you attack and combo the piccolo you're essentially drawing three cards which is just really insane for only attacking and comboing one card um playing four of the further instruction chopper this sort of runs the deck in a way uh giving itself double strike making your leader or any board like any monster on board making it that much aggressive especially if they don't block like anything giving it like 10k double strike can be game changing Playing three of the Mai, uh, this card is pretty much re um, really good because it summons itself for free. Of course, our leader is Trunks. It's also a two mana costing card, so comboing with it, you get to draw off a card if you have to combo with it. Seeing multiples is also fine because they're blockers. It just stops attacks you just don't want to take yourself. Um, we're playing uh, the other combo card, Unyielding Trunks. Two cost mana card, so it, you get to draw of uh, comboing with this card. And during your turn, if you combo with it, you get to untap any color mana, which is really strong. When you further instruction, going second, you've only got one mana. So you tap a further instruction, untap it with Unyielding, and then you can play the Carver afterwards. Be having two double strikes on turn one, when normally they're tapped out for like a boo or whatever they played first, like first turn, and they're tapped out, they just have to take that damage. You're waking them straight up. And if they're a deck that self awakened, they're at three life, and it's literally still your turn round one, really. Um, playing two of the energy boosted Beerus, you don't really want to see turn four or five. Uh, this deck generally wants to win before them, but some games it does happen, like bricking does happen. So this is just one of those late game cards that you can play to destroy a threat and just swing the 20k double strike. You can end a game that easy. Um, we're playing four of the um, Spirit Gohans. This card summons itself when you combo with it from your hand during your turn, which is really strong. It also provides 10k to the battle, and then they're just 15k beaters, which just get your opponent down that much faster. Um, we're playing the Mighty Mask engine. Mighty Mask is really good, especially early game. When you hit them, 10k it generally peels a life, and then you can destroy it and search uh, the Go Tanks here and the Spirit Trunks. Um, this Go Tanks we're mainly playing because it's red and it's mana. The alternative to this would be the Family of Justice, which is really good. Um, but I prefer this one in this build, considering most of our red requires two or more mana. And so being able to search one of those red manas is just really strong. It's also a three cost 5k combo. So worst case scenario, you throw it into a combo and get to draw a card off it. Up, up next, we're playing four of the promo Gohan. This card's really good. You, when it attacks, you can either choose to give a double strike or draw a card. It's an auto, so it happens after negate. So if they choose to negate this card, you just say, sure, I'll draw a card. It's also a three cost card, so comboing it, again, 5k combo, you get to draw of it. So no matter what situation you see this card, it just says draw. 
Um, then lastly, we're rounding off the deck with the four Miraculous Comeback Gohans. This card is just too strong to not play in anything red. It wins you games for no reason. Being able to hit into like the opponent's Kaba or something small, being able to deal the two damage off them, it's just too strong to not play. It ends games so quickly and takes people up by surprise if they're not expecting it. Um, after, after that, that's the deck profile. Um, Trunks, really fun leader. I'd like to see more in the meta. Um, besides that, thanks, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.